Hello everyone. Let us try to solve this question. It's a question on logic. It says FC at the rate AF is 63. BL at the rate CE is 112. What should be GF at the rate BI? Okay. Now there can be different things. The at the rate can become multiplication. It can become division. It can become addition, subtraction. We have to think what we can do. The first thing that comes in our mind is the following. We have to link these alphabets to numbers. One way of linking alphabet to number can be, okay, let's write down the alphabets first. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, L. Let us give number to each of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 2. If I were to give F 6 and C 3, A 1 and F 6, and I want that the number that I get as a result should be 63. But they cannot be multiplied together for sure. They cannot be added directly for sure. They cannot be subtracted. And I have to start thinking of what other relationship I can form. So maybe can I do something like this that, okay, let me introduce a plus sign here and here and a multiplication sign here. Then 6 plus 3 will become 9. 6 plus 1 will become 7. And yes, six, 9 into 7 will become 63. So we have found the 63. Right? On very similar analysis, let's see if it satisfies the other equation or not. So BL at the rate CE is 112. BL at the rate CE is 112. So, B will be given the number 2. B will be given the number 2. L will be given 12. L will be given 12. C will be given 3 and E will be given 5. And I can introduce a multiplication sign in between an addition in these two. 2 plus 12 is going to be 14 into 5 plus 3 will be 8. And when I multiply, I'm getting 112, which means it satisfies this equation. Now just find this. GF at the rate BI. So G is going to be 7. F is 6. B is 2 and I is 9. Introduce a plus sign between these and a multiplication sign here. This is going to be 13 into 11. So it is going to be 143. So answer to this question will be 1. So this is very tricky kind of questions that can come. But these are all your part A questions. These are very, very common part A questions that can come in your uh, CUET exam, right? Uh, and you should practice these questions as much as possible. Logic, logical reasoning and, uh, you know, D, uh, your uh, DIs and riddles. All of these things, they're very, very important, right? Okay, so... Uh, so apart from this, what I want you to do is, I want you to just go ahead and try to, this is, this is a very easy one, but see if you can go ahead and do this puzzle, right? So please write down. An apple is 40 cents, banana, 60 cents, Grapefruit, 80 cents. 
how much is a peer. Just try to see if you can answer this question. Okay, thank you.